proclaiming the word, a divine journey. Have you ever stopped to consider the profound meaning behind the scripture, the Lord gave the word, great was the company of those who proclaim it, E68, 11. This is an opportunity to explore this sacred verse and discover its spiritual wealth. This verse, plucked from the book of Psalms, is potent and filled with symbolism. The statement, the Lord gave the word, signifies the divine wisdom, guidance and laws that the Supreme Being has granted to humanity. This word is more than just a sequence of letters or a group of sentences, it is divine truth, a light of enlightenment, and a guide for ethical and righteous living. The latter part of the verse, great was the company of those who proclaim it, refers to the countless individuals who, over the course of history, have assumed the role of disseminating this word. These are the prophets, the educators, the preachers, and all those who, in their capacity, have strived to propagate the divine truth. Their number is vast, demonstrating the universal and timeless significance of the word. In essence, this scripture emphasizes the divine origin of the word and the essential role of its heralds. It draws attention to the responsibility we all bear in spreading this divine wisdom, ensuring that it reaches every corner of the globe and touches every open heart. To recap, this scripture from Psalms underscores two crucial points. First, the word, embodying divine wisdom and guidance, is a generous gift from the Lord to humanity. It is a tool for enlightenment, a compass for righteous living, and a source of solace in moments of turmoil. Second, the scripture recognizes the immense group of individuals who have committed their lives to proclaiming this word. Their mission is commendable, their number vast, underscoring the universal appeal and timeless significance of the word. In a world filled with uncertainty and conflict, this scripture serves as a reminder of our collective responsibility to spread the word, to illuminate others, and to strive for a world founded on the divine principles of love, compassion, and righteousness, a task that is both a privilege and an obligation. This divine wisdom is not limited to the pages of a sacred book, but is a living, active guide that, when accepted, can transform lives and communities. The challenge thus lies not only in comprehending this word, but also in living it and sharing it with others. So as you navigate through life, remember, the Lord gave the word, great was the company of those who proclaim it.